Hello everyone. Now today we are going to see the transfer mechanism and its type. So before going in detail of this transfer mechanism, uh, we will see the types of configuration. So as compared to inline and segmented inline configuration, mostly rotary indexing type system are commonly used to smaller work part, smaller work parts, and fewer workstations that can be readily accumulated for the buffer storage system. And but here, as we know, the rotary system configuration means that indexing system will be required, the floor space requirement will be less as compared to inline and segmented inline. So mostly we are using this rotary configuration system. Okay, now we will see in detail the types of the transfer mechanism. So now there are two types of transfer mechanism. One is linear transfer system. Another one is rotary indexing mechanism that for the rotary indexing mechanism, we will be using specific mechanism that is the Geneva mechanism. So this mechanism was developed by the scientist Geneva. So this particularly means the scientist, sorry, the scientist was from German company, Germany, from Germany country. And there the city is there, Geneva. So this mechanism, the scientist was from that city. So this mechanism is called a Geneva mechanism. Okay. Now we will see in detail the linear transfer system in next slide. So this is the basic configuration of the linear transfer system. So here, if you see, this is the spring feeder, then this is the elevator module. So this is the pick and place unit. This here you can be putting the part for addition and also taking the product. And this is over and under transfer line. So this is the over and over transfer line. This is the under transfer line. And all these lines, these are the stepper motors. All of these, they are what? These are the stepper motors. And these are the clamps for the clamping purpose of the product or means the job. So here in the linear transfer system, most of the material transfer system, they basically provide the linear motion. And uh, some of them, they are used for part transfer in automated production line. But they also include the power roll converse, belt converse or chain drive converse. So here basically it may be in this part, we may be using belt or we may be using this, uh, what do you say? Ruler part, ruler conveyor system, belt conveyor system for the given system. For the forward motion of part, it may be stopped at each station by using some mechanism, stopping mechanism, means by using some sensors, proximity sensors. If you want to perform some operations for this system, we can provide it so that addition point, addition part can be also made for this linear transfer system. And if you are using a chain drive system, for the means chain conveyor system, the chain is driven by the pulleys is either on over and under configuration in which the pulleys turn about the horizontal axis or around the corner configuration in which pulleys rotate about the vertical plane. So here if we now in this case, either the motor may be horizontal like this here it is shown it is horizontal or this is horizontal part and sometimes it may be vertical. So as per the configuration you have to just make the configuration means motor feeder means that motor is now here steady the spring feeder so you have to orient as per the conveyor conveyor system it may be chain drive or it may be belt drive system if you are using belt conveyor then it can be also adapted for that in a synchronous movement means synchronous means what a continuous flow a synchronous means intermediate flow of the work unit where the friction between the belt and part so as to, means it will be maximum so as to move the part from one station to another so this is the basic difference for the chain drive and the belt drive system. Either a chain or a belt drive, it can be used for either carrying the work from one point to another or from station to station. And many machining type transfer lines utilize walking bin transfer system in which the parts are synchronously lifted from one point to another station and they are moved from one position to ahead with the help of the workers. Means either it can be done by pick and place unit by using the robot or by manual also they can be moved from one station to another so this system is provided for the linear transfer system next rotary index mechanism that is the geneva mechanism so here in this geneva mechanism one will be miss whatever the miss input is given input is given to the crack and we are taking the output from the geneva wheel so here if you see there is one is pin is provided here. If you see in this diagram, one pin is provided. This pin is called as crank pin or simply pin. 
which will be having some uh, angular velocity omega. This omega in is the input angular velocity for the crank, for this crank, means for this pin, which is moving in anti-clockwise sense. And if it is moving in anti-clockwise sense, the Geneva wheel will move in clockwise sense. Okay. So here, it is like this Geneva mechanism is also like cap, which provides intermediate rotary motion. Means there will be no any continuous rotary motion. The motion will be intermediate. As the pin will insert inside this slot. If you see here, for the Geneva wheel, the slots are provided. So for one rotation, this pin will insert inside one slot. Then for further, it will be remain stationary. And again, the second slot will get entered. So this particular Geneva mechanism, it is a cam. It, means it is like a cam mechanism, which provides intermediate rotary motion. And the application of the Geneva mechanism is used for indexing of work table in both low and high speed machinery. And in this mechanism, as we know, the driving is, uh, driving wheel is the crank, which engages in the slot of the Geneva wheel. Now, during the, miss, usually this crank rotates at uniform angular speed, and it is tried to engage the tool, which is used for machining purpose on that table or on that configuration part. Geneva wheel is turned for one quarter revolution of the driving crank. Miss, it means that when the crank pin or that crank and wheel remains in contact, for one quarter turn of the wheel that I have told already that when the crank is moving one rotation, here that slot is taking place, means the motion of that Geneva wheel will be one quarter. And here the number of slots on that, uh, this Geneva wheel now in this case it is four, but it may be three, two up to 16 as per the requirement, as per the requirement of the operation on that system transfer mechanism, these uh, slots, they are adjusted. So this is the genome mechanism or rotary indexing mechanism. Thank you.